to CINEC, the Civil Society International Coordinator for Armenia here at Counterpart International. As a part of our research more recently, uh, we have put together five case studies which allow us to conduct in-depth analysis of specific issues that might not be captured adequately by quantitative data. For one of these, uh, we chose to explore the financial sustainability of Armenian civil society organizations or the CSOs. Uh, I'm joined today by Mane, our researcher, who is going to tell us a bit about the case study. First, Mane, could you please explain us why the topic of financial sustainability was chosen? Hello. Uh, we chose this because we had a very interesting finding from one of our quantitative research tools. Uh, in particular, the organizational survey showed that 88.5% of Armenian CSOs have a stable financial resource and uh, as you know, this was quite a controversial finding, since all the previously conducted studies on the non-profit sector in Armenia show that Armenia CSOs are financially insecure institutions. Thus, we decided to clarify this contradiction. Uh, the, you can have soon access to the case study on our website at www.advocacyam. I would like ask, to ask Monet to briefly present the main findings of the case study. Please. Uh, first, it turns out that Armenian uh, CSOs are in fact not still financially sustainable organizations. And even those who are, are excessively dependent on a single funding source, which is usually a foreign donor organization. Moreover, another finding of the study is that the regulatory environment in Armenia does not create a supportive and a secure environment for Armenian CSOs fundraising efforts. Uh, and what are the main recommendations that the case study makes? Uh, the first recommendation that the study makes is that Armenian CSOs should develop and uh, foster partnerships as soon as possible and with all potential stakeholders. The second recommendation is that Armenian CSOs have to effectively advocate for a regulatory environment uh, that would enable them in their fundraising efforts. And last but not least, Armenian CSOs should uh, effectively cooperate, collaborate with Armenian government um, more often and in more substantial ways. Thank you, Mane, for being with us and giving us insight into CSOs financing in Armenia. As always, stay tuned for future updates and information on our other case studies.